AM and Sam, let's get started. And on the first pitch, bounced at the first baseman, Ted Burton, and he will flip to Isaac Morton to get the first out. Pitch on its way. Right back up the middle, base hit. Hot hitting Walter Yannick will single with one out in the top of the first inning from the stretch. Isaac Morton delivers. That's a call strike on the inside corner with a fastball. First pitch to him, a ball 1-0, and now Isaac Morton back with the next offering. That's bounced at Justin Vossis, making his second or first ever start at second base. He bobbled the ball for a moment. Inside fastball that froze Gavin. Hammered this pitch to straightaway center field on the one run, and that got over the batter's eye. Didn't just clear the wall in center, it got over the batter's eye. And Trackman is showing us this at 470 feet. Are you kidding me? Bubbles in the air early, one to nothing. The Aggies lead on the eighth home run of the year by Jace Lovulex. I was talking to Bronny before the game, and we're talking about the connectivity of a lot of that swing. 3-1 pitch. That will miss low, and after the Jace Lobulette home run, Braden Montgomery is a walk. Full count pitch to Ted Burton, high and away. 3-2 pitch on its way, went opposite field for a base hit, reached out, drove it into right field, runners were going with 3-2 and two outs, and Braden Montgomery will score. A 1-2 to Ryan Targach from Michael Watson on its way, swinging, chopped at the third baseman. Tough play, he was on the run and got it on the short hop. Jeffrey David couldn't field it, bounced off of him, and Ted Burton will score from third base. It's three to nothing, Aggies. It was really in his glove, that's an advanced guy. Swing and a miss, a tip foul back actually into the mitt of Walter Yannick. Scott had pregame, three and oh. And that's a four pitch walk, and that means the ball five champ will break out with this packed house on a Tuesday evening. And it's on its way. Swinging hard hit, left center field, and you can kiss that one goodbye. Gavin Grahovic launches a homer seven feet shy of Jace Lomulet. This goes 463. 109 off the bat, just like Lomulet. Two run homer, and it's 5 0 AM. And honestly, that's what I thought was going to happen in the first A.B. He was on the ball, on the ball, on the ball, fouling it off to that right side. If he throws it and it's up in the zone, Jace will be ready to do some damage. There it is. Hit this well on the way to section 12. Yeah. Over section 12. Yeah. Jace Lovulet, two at bats, two homers. And the Aggies up the lead to 6 nothing. back to back. That's exactly what I was talking about. Sorry about that, Will, but that's exactly what I was talking about. He was waiting on that out, uh, that off-speed pitch. The fastball is not dominant enough. Jace doesn't respect it, so he can foul off the fastball, sit on the off-speed, and if he gets it up. The seventh inning will get some more as this inning goes long. That's a four-pitch walk. One, you're back. As we return, a 2-0 pitch is hit into the gap in right center, and that will land and get to the wall. They're going to get a run out of this all the way from first base. Easton Lloyd will score, and that's off the bat of Jeffrey David. He doubles. Bud Mive trying to end the top of the third pitch on its way. That's another breaking ball. That's another check swing. Did not need to appeal down. He went around. Yeah, it was 0-2. Now it's 3-2. Pitch on its way. They rung him up at home plate, and they did with the runner going, throw out Jackson Appel. Been effective tonight. Here's the 0-2, swinging into center field. That may fall, and it will, as Jace Lavalette was on the run trying to get there. Or at least he, before, I'm, I'm, he might be retired now. Tell me I'm, I'm wrong on that. Runner was going on a 3-2, but the pitch is outside. He kind of streak going on. What are you guys, 15-0? Here's a bunt out in front of home plate. Zane Budmai will field, and he will throw out Jace Martinez. There. Pitch on the way. Swinging. That's hard hit. That is a base hit into right field. And a couple of cats will come home one pitch later. Lloyd drives in Tatum and Cotton. 
And the Cats get closer. It's six to three. And we're ready with the first pitch. It's on its way, swinging right side. Almost hit the runner, but it's a base hit into right field. Lloyd going to second base, had to hop that to get the pickoff. Comebacker up the middle over the head of Brock Peary. Camarillo will field, and his only play is first base, and that's dug out of the dirt by Ted Burton. Right on right matchup here with Hewitt in. Swinging, ground ball, base hit back up the middle. We await a 2-2 from Hewitt. Here it is, swinging, skied into he that. He lost it. Now, he lost it. It's hard to he see. He lost it. They're not going to catch it. It's that time of night with the sun setting. And that bluish, light bluish sky. Lost it because you're not going to fool anybody into not having two bases. Braden Montgomery ground ball opposite way on an 0-1 pitch. Base hit. Drives home Gavin Grohovac. And the Aggies up the lead to 7-3. To Hayden's hit the ball in the air twice. Pop up and a fly out. Chopped this. They're going to try to get two at first base. The throw to second gets a runner. But the throw back to first is thrown away. And I think it went into the Sam Houston dugout. On all of that, Jay Slavulet scored. Full count pitch. Called strike three. Got him on the outer half with a fastball. When he arrived at his seats just below us. Ground ball base hit back up the middle off the bat of Ali Camarillo. Two out single. He was paying attention there. Hard hit on a breaking ball, and that's down the line. And right, it's a fair ball. Caden Kent is going to bring Ali Camarillo all the way around with a play at the plate. The throw, and they got him just in time. But he's just doing a great job of defending home plate there. A one, that's hard hit. Ringing single into left field off the bat of Jace Martinez. But I would try to get a swing and miss. That's ripped into right field. He pulled it. Two strike pitch. One one pitch to Walter Yannick. Swinging, ground ball, past the diving shortstop in Ali Camarillo into left field. Three straight singles for the Bearcats. Overthrow it. Just got a swing and a miss, and he's working quick. And now this is tagged deep to right field, and that ball is gone, and it's a grand slam, and Sam Houston is within a run. Malachi Lott deep to right, grand slam. All of a sudden, the Aggie lead is 8-7. to seven. Well, Scott, you asked the question. Yep on why Malachi Lott's in the lineup, and you just saw the answer. Brown ball back up the middle, base hit off the bat of Hank Barr. Yeah, and that's middle, middle for Hank, and he drives it straight up with an exit speed of 101 right through the middle. 0-1. Swinging down the line, right field, opposite field. That lands fair. Camarillo a base hit, and coming around to third base is Hank Bard. The Aggies will have him at the corners. Two outs. Camarillo goes. Hard hit, right field. Will it land? No. Malachi Lott got over there and made the catch on the run. The 1-1 from Chris Cortez. Swinging. Fly ball, center field. Laviolette back at the track. He'll watch it fly. That's gone. Walter Yannick is four for five with a home run now. Solo shot right there. Ball game is tied, eight to eight. Wow, have a day, Walter Yannick. Cortez, the 2-1, swinging, chop. Having to go up and get it is Grahovac, and the throw across got him. Now the crowd trying to summon a four-pitch walk, start up the ball five champ. 3-0, that did miss. Caden Sorrell walks on four pitches as a pinch hitter. Leadoff man aboard to the bottom of the ninth. Jackson Appel will come up and the ball five. Chan has started. Sorrell gets his lead. That's low and yeah. in, and Sorrell's going to move up the bag. I actually hit him. hit him on the foot. There's nobody out. Eight to eight in the bottom of the ninth. Here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out with a breaking ball low. He's been much better the last two days. 1-1 pitch right here, swinging, loop, 
Shallow left field, and the land coming around for Nova, hold him up right there. Had to see if it would drop, so they will hold Sorrell at third base. Three and one crowd on their feet. Here's the pitch. High for a ball, he walked him. And the Aggies will get Olsen magic for the second straight game, and they'll stay undefeated. 17 and 0, heading to conference play to Gainesville this weekend. A real walk off. <laughs> a true walk off. Exactly. Did you run on the home run? He walked on that walk. Crazy way to end the ball game. What a great job by Kent, though. He was patient, had a couple good out bats. Great job by Sam Houston, too. Just overall, excellent ball game on a Tuesday night at College Station.